coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Airbus reveals blended wing aircraft demonstrator. Go Fly Final Fly Off is coming up February 27th through the 29th. And Boeing had a rough month in January. Happy Valentine's Day and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Airbus has revealed Maverick, its blended wing body scale model technological demonstrator. At 6.5 feet long, 10.5 feet wide, and with a surface area of about 24 square feet, Maverick features a disruptive aircraft design Airbus says has the potential to reduce fuel consumption by up to 20%. The configuration also opens up new possibilities for propulsion systems type and integration as well as versatile cabin for a totally new onboard passenger experience. Launched in 2017, Maverick first took to the skies in June of 2019. Since then, the flight test campaign has been going on and will continue until the end of the second quarter of 2020. Airbus is using its core strengths and capabilities of engineering and manufacturing in close collaboration with an extended innovation ecosystem to accelerate traditional research and development cycles. By doing this, Airbus is able to achieve proof of concepts at a convincing scale and speed, thereby driving forward maturity and increasing their value. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip with integral backup battery. Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. Following the anomaly that occurred during the December Boeing Starliner orbital flight test, NASA and Boeing formed a joint investigation team tasked with examining the primary issues. Those issues include an error with the mission elapsed timer a software issue within the service module disposal sequence, and an intermittent space-to-ground forward link issue. The National Air Transportation Association Board of Directors has announced the selection of Timothy R. Obitz as its president and CEO. He succeeds Gary Dempsey, who assumed the role of NATA's president after six years of service on the association's board of directors, including a term as chairman of the board. The NBAA is encouraging lawmakers to address a growing shortage of pilots and aviation technicians, as well as an aging pilot population. In written testimony submitted to the House Committee on Transportation Infrastructure Subcommittee on Aviation, the NBAA noted the Boeing Company Outlook has projected that 645,000 new commercial pilots and nearly 100,000 new business aircraft pilots will be needed worldwide between 2019 and 2038. Meanwhile, there's a projected worldwide demand for almost 770,000 new aviation technicians over the next 20 years. For the fourth time in a year, Iran failed to get a satellite into orbit when the rocket carrying the spacecraft failed to achieve orbital velocity. The Zafar satellite fell back to Earth in a rural region of southeast Iran, resulting in as many as eight explosions. Authorities were reportedly investigating the cause of the failed launch and the explosions. Sometimes it's hard to sum up all the freedoms general aviation can give you until you see the latest insanity occurring on the nation's airliners. It seems that a woman decided to recline her seat, and the altogether impolite gentleman behind took offense and showed his displeasure again and again and again, as seen on Twitter. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. 
the Go Fly Final Fly Off is scheduled for February 27th through the 29th at Moffett Federal Air Field at NASA's Ames Research Center in Mountain View, California. The Go Fly Prize is a $2 million global competition comprised of 850 teams from 103 countries, all vying to create personal flying machines in a multi-phase challenge. Competitors were charged with creating a personal flyer that is smaller, lighter and quieter than anything that has ever existed before. Some 31 Phase 2 teams across 16 countries and were reviewed by a panel of experts across two rounds of judging. Aero XO, Dragonair Aviation, Silver Wing, Texas A&M, and Trek Aerospace for all Phase 2 winners. In addition to crowning the challenge's top winners, the multi-day fly-off will include live air shows with personal flyers and keynotes with industry leaders. January is usually a slow month for airplane orders and deliveries, but Boeing may have set a new standard in the first month of 2020. The plane maker recorded no new orders and delivered only 13 airplanes in the first month of the year. A year ago in January, Boeing took orders for 45 commercial jets. The company has never had a zero order January since its merger with McDonnell Douglas. The slow pace of deliveries is attributable entirely to the grounding of the 737 MAX. Until the aircraft is recertified, it cannot deliver those airplanes to customers. And there is such a backlog that it has suspended production of its newest single-aisle airplane. By contrast, Airbus had a big month in January, picking up orders for 247 commercial aircraft and delivering 31 airplanes. And that wraps up our week, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. Head over to aero-news.net for the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and President's Day weekend. I'll see you Tuesday.